This is Dennis Daly with another report on the top stories of the day relating to the coronavirus pandemic. Despite the fact that the state of Mississippi now has the highest percentage of positives in the nation, that state is considering sending students back to school. In the football world in the University of Connecticut, that school has become the first top-level college to cancel its playing season this year. Arkansas's governor says he's going to the White House to talk to President Trump. And seven states are getting together. Maryland, Ohio, Michigan, Virginia, Massachusetts, North Carolina, and Louisiana. They are coming together to try to form a coalition in order to speed up the production of a rapid test that could give the results in less than half an hour. Here's a special programming note. Starting next Monday, the coronavirus update and the evening nightcast broadcast will go into hiatus until September. So continue to join us for the rest of the week. The regular Shrevikman features, including the broadcast almanac and others, will continue. Back tomorrow, I'm Dennis Daly. And remember to join us throughout the day for a wide variety of programming. We begin our broadcast day at midnight when we present the broadcast almanac. At 2 in the morning, you'll hear another item from The American Diary. Then the good works of a special honoree is presented at 5 a.m. on the Saint of the Day. Then at 7 a.m., we go back into the archives to hear what it sounded like eight years ago today. 11 a.m. brings another edition of Bob Whitmore's Almanac. Hear a special report on travel from one of ten different correspondents on Travel Notes at 3 in the afternoon. Then Dennis Daly presents his interesting commentary on the passing scene on Nightcast at 9 p.m. And at 10 p.m., another coronavirus update. It's a full day of programming, weekdays, right here on the Shrevekman Radio Network. Programs are distributed by Ursat Satellite.